in there? Tails in the pantry for me. Son of a bitch. You ain't Jay. Come here. Uh, the fuck are you doing here? Huh? Speak up. I don't know where I am. I just want to go home. And you just happen to stumble across my cabin. Oh. How'd you hear about this place? Huh? Who told you? A friend. He's in my class. He said there was a fortress near a shark tooth shaped. Fortress? There's no fortress here. There's nothing here. This place don't exist. I reckon there's only one reason you came here, and that's to steal my stuff. I'm not afraid of you, old man. What? You, you heard me. Oh, yeah. I heard you. <laughs> You got balls. I'll give you that. Where are you from? Uh, well, well, my mom's half Dene, half Maori. You dumb shit. I was asking where you lived. Never mind. And this mom of yours, does she know you're here, thief? No. I sneaked out without telling her. She doesn't care what I do anyway. And I'm not a thief. I caught a kid trying to steal from my wallet once. Got my knife under his chin. A knife just like this one. Please don't. Why? What do you think I did to him? You, you set him free? You think I let him off the hook? Kids don't learn if you don't teach them. I told that boy I was gonna cut him loose after I cut a piece off him. But seeing as I'm a reasonable man, I let him choose which, finger or ear. Now it's your turn. Choose. <laughs> will, will, will it hurt? Ear, huh? Finger's what he chose. Ah! That's when I see tears coming. So I tell him, there's no greater shame than stealing from your own father. And as he was my eldest son, I was gonna teach him some respect. Now that may sound harsh, but it's no different to how my pappy taught me. And afterwards, I said, you'll thank me for it. He never thanked me for it. Instead, he started to cry for his mama. So I let him go. Huh? Hey, Pa! You in there? Listen good, you little fuck. You know what'll happen if I see you here again. So run home to your mama and never look back. Now run, Meatball. Uh. Faster! Before I change my mind! Pa! Uh. What you shooting at? <laughs> yes! Yes! A road!
Don't be broken. Don't be broken. Please don't be. <laughs> Mom. Mom. I'm sorry. I should have come straight home. Adventure camp? Hope you and your boy have a great trip, Miss Willemma. He's gonna be so surprised. That's today. Oh, Mom. the sheriff's department looking for you tell my mom <laughs> i'm sorry now hold on you tell her yourself you okay <laughs> jesus what happened to you i was <laughs> i was looking for the fort ash what are you talking about what happened to you out there I couldn't find it. I fell. Got lost. That's all. Ash? 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 Easy, easy. Hey, I got you. We're gonna get you to a hospital. When I got out of the car, you weren't there. Oh. I thought I was... I thought that was it. It was that freaking helicopter. We circled back, but the cops were... I can't believe you survived. What were you thinking? Sneaking up on us like that. Were you followed? I know how to cover my tracks. You got some kind of plan? Beginnings of one. Dante's got an account number in that little black book. If it's what I think it is, then... That's for later. First, we need to get to Canada. Canada? Cops are gonna be all over the southern border, so we head north. You hate the cold. Don't worry, Jay. I got your back. You know that, right? I know Dale did. With you, sometimes I don't know. I'll always look out for this family, no matter what. I'm gonna take first watch. You two get some rest. We got a long day tomorrow. Oh, you 
to sleep longer. I was tuning up the bike. Can we talk about this Canada thing? We're not going to Canada. We're going to Texas. Huh? I know a guy in Eagle Pass who can get us across the Grand. So, why'd you tell Jay North? Because he ain't coming. First thing tomorrow, I'll send him to Kanab. Say he's our scout. By the time he gets back, we'll be long gone. No, I am not doing that to him. Ain't it bad enough we lost Dale? Hey, you think I want this? That I want any of it? <sighs> we both know Jay was never exactly your favorite. But I still looked out for him, didn't I? All I've ever done, I did for this family. Worked my butt off since I was 14. Been protecting you from Pa from when I was old enough to hit him back. Hell, I barely even had a life of my own. I was so busy dealing with everyone else's. For 25 years, it's always been me. Who takes it on the chin? Tyler the eldest. The responsible one. Well, enough's enough, Ma. I ain't going down with the ship. There's two seats on that motorcycle, not three. And Jay ain't getting one. What are you doing? Leave it. Uh, this is crazy. I'll stay, you two go. You'll never survive out here alone, but Jay will. He practically lives in these woods. I don't care. I'll die here if I have to. Nuh-uh. We're all gonna make it because Jay's gonna do the right thing and stay. Why can't we all go? We haven't even tried. We've done nothing but try. What do you think this has all been about? It's time to get real, kid. You owe us. Owe you? You heard me. You're the one who stole that goddamn book. I didn't know. Exactly. Because you're always in your own goddamn world. Pa, he treated you like you were some golden boy. But you've been lost in your daydream since the day we took you in. What? You're real, Mom! Should have done us a favor! Tyler! Enough! What do you mean? My real mom? Mama? What's he talking about? You are blood, and I raised you as a son. So that makes me your mother. The rest doesn't matter. You're right. This family's my only family. <laughs> family? We're just your fucking babysitters. Shouldn't have been Dale. Should have been you. I'm leaving. You better hope I don't get caught. Jay, please. Let's talk about this. Tyler, what are you doing? He knows the whole goddamn plan. Jay! Jay! Don't you dare hurt him! Jay! Get back here! Forget what I said, okay? Of course I'm your brother. I used to change your diapers. I know you once tried to keep a squirrel as a pet. 
and that you hate Ma's baked potatoes. I don't want to hurt you, Jay. I just need to know you're not going to tell anyone the plan. Get down here, Jay! I swear to fucking God! You climb so fast. I don't look down. Look, Jay. It's been a long day. I shouldn't, uh... You don't gotta say it. I know what I need to do. Which way are you gonna go? Maybe north? Like you said, cops won't expect it. And good luck out there. And remember, when it's them or you, pick you.
Shane, am I drunk? Or are we sitting at a kitty arcade? <laughs> nope. Don't got no space invaders in here. <laughs> Just another weirdo. Your car break down or something? I just need a ride north. Well, I'm headed south. Try that fella. <sighs> now, how's that for double luck? Excuse me. Are you headed north? How far? Hmm. Far as you'll take me? Well, I don't like hitchhikers much, but I'll bite. Who are you running from? And what have you done to piss him off? I'm running from the cops. FBI, too. <laughs> For what? Not turning in your homework? <laughs> Sorry, kid. I can't get mixed up in it. What if we throw for it? Three darts each? I win. You give me a ride. If I don't, I'll buy you a drink. Two drinks? Ah, what the hell. I'm bored. Twenty-seven. Your turn. Played before. Ready for round two? Forty-seven. What's that? 25? Hey, slow down, Robin Hood. I want my free drinks. <laughs> Final round. Stakes are high. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Hanging in there, though. For now. No rush, kid. Hate for you to mess up now. Shark and me, I ain't got no patience for sharks. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Can I help you? I'm looking for an 18 year old male, sand colored hair, connected to that motel shooting in Two Rock. Who's asking? Someone who was there. Shit. Fucking cops. Does this look like a place that serves 18 year olds? <laughs> Go for it. I'll keep it busy. Have you seen him or not? His people killed my partner. He's going straight to death row. You sure you're a cop? You ain't dressed like one. I'm off duty. This one's personal. Yeah, well, I ain't seen anyone. How about you? Seen anyone underage tonight? Well, you look pretty young. 
Just answer the fucking question. Okay, let me think. Well, there's Shane at the bar. That big guy, Gene, who comes around for dinner. And Kyle. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe it's Lyle. Did you see a teenager or not? No. Who's that here? But if I do, I'll call you. Or actually, uh, I could just call you anyway. Guess you weren't fucking around back there. Tell me the truth. You kill all those cops? Blow up the school bus? All that shit from TV? I don't want trouble. Shit, kid. You are the trouble. So did you do it? So what if I did? Had a feeling. Summer of 87. Buddy and I rob a grocery store up in Reno. When the cops find us, I get scared and run. They beat me to an inch of my life. My pal, black guy named Dave. He, uh, he wasn't so lucky. Come on. Let's get you north. Again for the ride. Word to the wise. Hey low. Call a friend if you got one. I need to collect call the Dorland family in Two Rock, Arizona. Please state your name. Tell her it's Dean. Vanessa, I need help. Why? What's wrong? I'm in Utah. I don't have any money. I've barely slept. Ooh, slow down. Utah? Are you in some kind of trouble? The cops. They think I did something. I didn't. But... What do they think you did? There was this burglary, and I was there. I was part of it. But I swear, I, I didn't want to be. I got dragged in, and now they think... Uh... It's okay, Dean. I believe you. You do? 
I have good instincts. You're not that kind of person. Look, things have been shitty here too. My dad's convinced you were a drug dealer. He found an old bag of weed in my t-shirt drawer, and now I'm grounded for like half the summer. Seriously? I know, he's fucking crazy. Where are you now? Salt Lake City, near the, uh, the Sabrina Hotel? Okay, I'll book you a room. You can order room service. Take a nap, and later I'll call to check that you're... Vanessa? <sighs> you know what? I'll meet you there. Wait, you'll... Don't you have finals? Screw finals. I'd rather help a friend. No. It's dangerous here. You shouldn't come. To Salt Lake City? I've been. It's weird, but it's safe. But are you sure? Don't worry about me. Seriously. I'll book the room under my name. See you soon.